Det blev Cloud9 som gick vinnande ur striden mot Nip på Nuke. Detta efter en väldigt övertygande CT-sida. Mycket tack vare fint spel av just Shazam som vi har med oss här. Um, Shazam first, uh, congratulations. And what is your, what is your um, general opinion about the event? Bo both MLG as well as X Games? Um, well, should I hold this? Here. Okay. Uh, being at the X Games is something unreal. Like, no disrespect to all these other extreme athletes here. Like, it's an honor to be here. I'd never thought. X Games has been a childhood dream of mine, and now I can earn a medal gaming, like, doing something I love. It's unreal. MLG as well, so far the tournament's been pretty smooth. No serious delays other than the first match, setting up, like, the drivers and everything. It's been, it's been great, actually. One of the We've been treated like celebrities from one of the best events I've ever been to. Um, you joined um, Cloud9 for like a month ago. Yeah. Um, how was your feeling when, when they asked you and how, uh, how has your time with the team been? Um, so they asked me following up from the last ESA land where my team had a semi unexpected event in terms of our performance. And so when they first approached me with the offer, you know, Jordan was like, you know, we're thinking, uh, like, what's your opinion? Do you think you want to? And like, I was all for it. You know, this is like a dream of mine. Like, I'm, I'm able to take off school, do this full time. Like, this is what I love to do. And so I jumped, I jumped right on it. Uh, I've been friends with the guys, despite what many people might have thought. Like, you know, hanging out with them at the events and stuff. They're all really amazing guys, and I'm, it's an honor to be on the team. Um, joining the team so early before this event, how has your preparations been? So when I first joined the team, we got straight to the grind, like working on each map, each half, every night, talking about it, watching demos. Like we've really been taking it seriously. Like we want 2015 to be a great year for us, especially. Yep. Uh, and look, you've been playing two matches now. Looking at the first one, obviously didn't go as you were planning. Yeah. What happened? What What did they do good, and what did you guys do bad? Dude, full credit to Kaboom. They played amazing. Like that was something we did not expect. Like you know, I'm not really familiar with the Brazilian players. I was a source player. These were like 1.6ers, I believe. And like there was not much to go off. We didn't know what to expect. And so when we went into the match. We're like, we got pistol, and then we got eco. And we're thinking, okay, we'll win the next round, and we buy, and then we lose it. Well, okay, we'll win the next round. All of a sudden, like. We're down 11-4, the first half CT side Mirage, and they really came prepared. They caught us off guard, um, but we won't we won't make that mistake again. And looking at the other game against NIP, probably went smoother than expected. Yeah. Tell us about the game. Well, first of all, it started with the veto process. Um, we were talking about the veto, like what maps we wanted to play, what we thought would, they would choose their veto before they before the match, the two hours break we had, and it surprised us. The maps they vetoed, like you know, they vetoed Cobble, which we didn't want to play either, and thought they were historically good on it. And then at the end, it came down to Nuke and Cash, and they vetoed Cash. And I didn't think they'd play Nuke at all. And, like we felt really confident on it. So once we got that map, we had side choice as well with the coin toss. Like felt felt good going into it. Uh, yeah, and your last game for for the group stage is Dignitas tomorrow. Uh, how confident are you that you can take home that game? You know, I've always weighed NIP as a team better than uh, Dignitas, but you know, Dignitas just can't underestimate them as well. So we're definitely going to check out their match against Kaboom, see how their veto goes, and prepare. We've got a day, a night's rest to get ready for the next match. Um, next up for you guys is Klutchcon next week, uh, as well as probably Katowice. Um, what what's next more for Cloud9? What can we expect from Cloud9 in the future? Um, so yeah, you got ClutchCon. We're staying. We're going to Denver. We're staying the whole week there. Maybe boot camp a little at the ClutchCon Arena, and then Katowice, I believe they just announced maybe online qualifiers. I don't know how specifically how it's going to happen, but that's definitely on our eyes. And then face it, face it leagues. That's starting up as soon as we get back. Um, and anything else that comes up, we're really trying to take our opportunities. Well, uh, good luck in every upcoming events as well as this one, and congratulations on the win. Uh, any last words? Yeah, shout out to our sponsors, Logitech Gaming, G2A, HyperX, NVIDIA, Alienware, and Alienware. But thank you.